Compline begins on page 320. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. We sing together hymn 565. Oh, praise to thee, my God, this night, for all the blessings of the light. Keep me, oh, keep me, King of kings, beneath thine own almighty wings. Forgive me, Lord, for thy dear Son, the ill that I this day have done, that with the world myself and thee, I ere I sleep, at peace may be. Teach me to live that I may dread the grave as little as my bed. Teach me to die that so I may rise glorious at the awesome day. Oh, may my soul in thee repose and may sweet sleep my eyelids close, sleep that shall me more vigorous make to serve my God when I awake. Praise God from whom all blessings flow, praise God all creatures here below, Praise God above you, heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ in whom we are forgiven. We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve. Our psalm is Psalm 33. <clears throat> Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, praise is fitting for the upright. Praise the Lord with the lyre, make music for God with a ten-stringed harp. Sing for the Lord a new song, play your instruments skillfully with joyful sounds. For your word, O Lord, is right, and faithful are all your works. You love righteousness and justice. Your steadfast love fills the whole earth. By your word were the heavens made. By the breath of your mouth all the hosts of heaven. 
You gather up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin, and store up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world stand in awe. For God spoke, and it came to pass. God commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the will of the nations to nothing, and thwarts the designs of the peoples. Your will, O Lord, stands fast forever, and the designs of your heart from age to age. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, happy the people chosen to be God's heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees all humankind. God sits firmly enthroned, enthroned and watches all who dwell on the earth. God fashions all their hearts and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by the size of the army nor are warriors rescued by their great strength. The horse gives vain hope for victory. Despite its great strength, it cannot save. Truly your eye is upon those who fear you, O Lord, upon those who wait for your steadfast love to deliver their lives from death and to keep them alive in time of famine. Our inmost being waits for you, O Lord, our helper and our shield. Surely our heart rejoices in you, for in your holy name we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, even as we place our hope in you. A reading from the second letter to the Corinthians. It is the God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I command my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, 
and this sleep we may rest in peace. Hear my prayer, O Lord, listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you, when I awake your presence will give me joy. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you all.